Hello Buzzercars, my name is Hotzoste and welcome back to another day in Minecraft uh, where we still play without mining any blocks that we have not previously placed. And today um, we will build two more towers for the farms uh, here behind me um, for more of the farms to have a proper home and the first step we have to do here is bring this tower here which has the uh, cactus farm above and our wool farm below over to this side because these two structures are entirely too close together for two distinct towers to be built around and unfortunately there is no easy way around this uh, than just uh, breaking the towers down and build them up over there maybe also lifting them a bit up so they are above the the wiring that goes on underneath so why uh, this is a is a pouring uh, process so let's just blank this away now that was one long blink it's become even night and the farm is now over there originally i planned to uh, to have it uh, just moved over but then the farm itself would touch our blast chamber there, not even leaving room for uh, building around it. So that's why I also moved it a bit in that direction. And we need to break a bit ground there uh, because the floor of the building is a bit lower than the, the grass that we have down here then we also have to see if we can move some of these water channels around uh, some of the of the redstone lines uh, but uh, those are all things that are manageable and not so taxing as you can see uh, up there um, the the drop shoot from the cactus farm and from the wool farm that's not connected up to uh, to this one here because we will have to see how we transport the items from this tower to this tower uh, but i do have an idea there uh, that should work out nicely but i think i will work a bit here more on the on the ground work and then we can actually start with the building. All the pipes and redstone wires are relayed so they either go around or under the tower to be. So we are actually good to start our build, which will be uh, the Patronus Towers. Uh, which stand in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And we need quite a bit of black stained glass, cyan glass, prismarine brick slabs, blackstone slabs, uh, dark prismarine blocks, a few light sources, and then we have one shulker with uh, miscellaneous blocks that we will need throughout the build. And this build is based on a design by the Minty Cats, who does quite a few uh, skyscrapers uh, here on YouTube. Um, but I put my, my own spin on it um, to better fit in with what we already have with the uh, uh, Taipei 101. And yeah, I guess it means it's time lapse time, baby.
first tower is standing and it's been quite the workout. Uh, so I think for the second one, which will be quite the same, no time lapse this time, uh, but at the end we will have some things to do to connect the two towers together uh, and that could be interesting. So uh, uh, let's skip the second tower and then see how we bring the two separate structures together. The second tower is now also erected and we can turn our attention to the bridge here on this level. Why it looks like quite high up, actually it's about one third of the whole height of the tower and we almost reached a build limit. Uh, the towers are nine blocks shy of the 390 blocks we could build up. But now uh, let's get this uh, bridge uh, built out here. Um, and we will use this bridge to our advantage uh, because as we have probably not enough blocks here, uh, from this tower here, we do have wool and cactus down there that needs to go over in this tower. And we will do that through this bridge, which means we have to bring the items up here and then with a bit of uh, a water stream bring everything over to the other side where then we can drop everything off in the water stream where it's then eventually sorted. So let me quickly do this, uh, this connection here and then we can finish the bridge and this whole project, right? Water channel is all in place and here at this point we have a nice mechanism with powdered snow which basically aligns items so they drop down neatly all the way down into that water stream down there so we don't need a drop chute going down there. And there you saw a cactus going down and another one. And this goes through on this side. So now I can actually close this off here. And here in the middle we have a bit of a wider spot that we have to uh, tighten in for the water flow. And then here on this side around here we have a water column coming up from all the way down there. So we can also fill in the water here and then basically finish the bridge with a roof. And as you can see down there, there are a few markers with dirt because that's where we have the underneath support coming out from the towers that will then meet here in the middle. And all this is a bit uh, fickly uh, to do uh, on camera uh, with, uh, with stairs, upside, downside and uh, slabs and diagonals. So uh, I will do uh, that once I have finished the roof up here and then we can have one final look at this magnificent, magnificent double tower that we have 
built here in our world. Um, here was also another block. And that does it for the roof of the bridge. Now just the underside of it as well. It turned out beautifully, this bridge, as well as the towers. They're quite high and I'm basically here on top of the Ta Taipei 101, which is dwarfed by the uh, Patronus towers uh, that we have built next to it. So inside these towers, we have quite a bit of room for future expansion and maybe uh, we will do that at some point but at least for the moment i don't have any plan for uh, many more farms that would need to go in there but if i do i do have the space so I hope you enjoyed this build and uh, join me next time when we will turn our attention on something different. Until then, goodbye!